Today's video is brought to you by Letty Shops. Letty Shops is an international cashback service that allows you to get back up to 30% of the money expended in your online purchases. There are over 2000 stores where you can use this service, for example Walmart, eBay, Banggood and even Gearbest. In order to get your cash back, you just need to go to Letty Shop's website, select the store you want, for example Gearbest, and click on Go to Store. After that, a page telling you that your cash back is activated will appear, and once you complete the purchase, the cash back value will be automatically put in your account. You can also use the mobile app to get cash back from your phone or even the browser extension for in depth options. Register now and have the first week with Premium plus 30% cashback. Hello guys, this is Gameplays and my name is... Borat. Today's video is about the Adrenaline 20.3.1 drivers and this of course to show you my experience uh, with these drivers. Are they okay? Do they have many bugs or not? And well, I installed the drivers as soon as they were released um, and I run them with my RX 5700 XT and what happens is that at least for me, for me and for me only, they suck. And like I said, only for me because I had some people in the comment section saying that hey man, the 20.3.1 drivers are amazing, my PC finally uh, is free of black screens, but well, People say that mostly on the 20.2.2. Maybe for some the 20.3.1 um, may fix problems, but not for me. It was exactly the opposite. What happened for me is that in terms of desktop, uh, software, etc, etc, it was all fine. But once I, I did go in the game, simple black screen games, quitting to the desktop, PC reboots and whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. I had the same, the same issue with the 20.2.2 drivers with the Corsair IQ, like I showed you in this video of the chit chat driving, the third one, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what happened with the 20.2.2 is that I disabled all the options possible in the Corsair IQ and now they seem to run fine. God knows why they had those problems, but at least it runs fine. Now with the same with the same exact settings that the 20.2.2 run fine, the 20.3.1 don't. So I still have black screens, I still have uh, games quitting to the desktop, I still have PC reboots and it is because of the drivers. Yes, it is not an hardware problem because the previous drivers work fine. So yeah, for me they suck. But well guys, this is just my experience uh, for some of you it may be the godsend fix, uh, like I've seen in the comments, for others maybe just problems, like for me. So, what I advise is stick with 20.2.2 or if 20.2.2 aren't that stable for you, stick with 20.1.3. One thing though that I don't like neither, neither on the 20.2.2 nor the 20.3.1, which is the fan speed. You can use 0 RPM and the fans will only start spinning once the GPU hits around 57 degrees, which for me is way higher than it should be. For example, the fans sh should start spinning, let's say, at 45 degrees, at least 10 degrees less than they are right now. But the main thing that annoys me is the minimum fan speed. So, or we have 0 RPM or we have 1200 RPMs. 1200 RPM for my dead silent system will make uh, the system not be that silent and that's not what I want. So 0 RPM is fine but I would like at least the option to select for example 800 RPM, 800, 700 RPM, that would make the card a lot cooler, let's say 15 degrees cooler and I would still not hear the fans and I would like to have that option so if someone at AMD is at least listening to this video or watching this video please put um, a, fan, a fan profile that at least lets you lower the, the fan RPM in the first state and not just 0 RPM and 1200 RPMs. That, that is kind of a um, deal breaker for me at least. But well, apart from that, it's all cool, so stick with 20.1.3 or 20.2.2, .2, in my opinion, of course. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video, 
and leave a comment in the comment section and tell me your experience with these drivers. See you in the next one.